Hi, thanks for watching. I recently uploaded a video showing lines in the sky. Well, I'd like to show you more and a possible explanation. I'd like to show you where I found them. Now I found them around Sirius. Now this here is mainstream and in NASA's interpretation of Sirius. For a size comparison, they show us that our sun is represented by this tiny dot. Sirius, they tell us, is 17,000 times larger and 1,000 times brighter than the sun. They have also put it 8.6 light years away, what with the light year being 6 trillion miles, that puts it somewhere in the region of 40 trillion miles away. And I see it a lot. And, and my camera's good, but it ain't that fucking good. And when I do see it, this is what I see. I don't see that. So, I will now show you a short clip as to where I got this snapshot. This is a slideshow of stills taken from the clip you've just watched. And it is from this slideshow I will select a few of the images and have a look at them in the 3D Builder. And I will then be able to show you what I can only describe as conduits. They are connected to these lights, all of them, like a network. Some of them are really strange. And the speed is phenomenal. And that also applies to the appearance of these conduits. 
everything in the sky is at a different speed from here on earth right before I start these lines you see like semi-circular they're an artifact of the software they are nothing to do with any of the images I'll now show you what I'm talking about as regards to conduits now this is the height map so this part of the software builds the image in layers like a contour map and it picks up anything it sees on the image so what's it seeing here now and this part highlights anything with an edge So, the highlighting is in here. I mean, that's definitely something. So, let's put this through its paces. Well, that's something. Definitely something. And we can look at it again. This time from a different angle. And you can clearly see the software is giving its shape and form so it must recognize it as something i'm no fucking expert but i know i can see stuff my eyes work i wish this fucking thing would work But, I mean, you get my point, right? Oh, and there's something else. I also believe that they are each held within a bubble of sorts. I know how. But, let me show you this. Mm, see? I mean, that's underneath from the other side of the image. So, I don't know. Interesting. This goes right by. And this stops here. So what's that about? Again from a different angle. What is going on? Oh, another thing. These, this plasma, it does not just appear as lights in the sky. 
have it on the video, and I'll put a link in the description, where I actually described it as looking like two cats in a pillowcase, because that's what it looked like. And again, what I was saying about the being inside a bubble of some kind, but I don't know what the fuck this is. So have a look at it. And see what else is there. Right. Hmm. Well, that's something. Now, when I first saw these things a few months ago, I was perplexed as to what was accepting them. Okay, the conduits. I'll buy it. But then I thought, what what travels through them? And then I found out bees don't fly. They hover. Their wings are not filled with veins and arteries but tiny tubes the air blows through, causes vibration, gives them lift, and that's the noise we hear. So it got me thinking, I wonder if that's what's going on here. And when you watch the way this plasma reacts, That's the sound travelling through. I mean, I saw some shit. I mean, the sky, what we call the sky, the ether, I think it's... I think it's as busy as the ocean. But at a different speed. And I think, if we could pause it, try it in our fucking life. Now this image here, I'd like to use it to explain something to you. This, like, all the other images you've seen are raw images taken directly from the video clip. They have not been altered in any way. I've not touched a thing. What you see is what you get. But when I first saw this, I thought, fuck me, that looks like a dragon. Well, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please share, because I think if people start to question what is actually going on above their head, the stars in the sky are not what we've been told. So maybe we'll question what other lies they've been told. Right, thanks for watching. Please comment.